Welcome to a special edition takeover of the Inner Loop Radio. I'm Joanne Leadham Ackerman, and I'll be your host today. And I'm here to talk about inspiration and ideas, and um, I'd like to focus on the writer's journey. Um, we're asked to talk about, to give you a writing prompt and to talk about what inspires as a writer. Um, I've been a writer for many, many decades. I've been a journalist. I write novels, short stories. I have nonfiction books, blogs, and some some small wisdom has accumulated over those years. But it begins with an essay that many of you may have read or heard about it. And if you haven't, I highly encourage it. It's from Rainer Rilke's Letters to a Young Poet. And Rainer Rilke is a very um, renowned German poet. And a young poet was writing him and kept asking, is my poetry good enough? Is it good enough? And Rilke replies in this really stunning letter. But I'm going to focus just on a couple of sentences in it because I remember reading it when I was in my 20s and I'd been a professional journalist and I had left journalism to start writing fiction. And it was a much longer journey than I ever anticipated to really understand what I was doing and how to write a novel and and then how to get it into the into the readers. Anyway, Rilke advises the young poet. Wait with deep humility and patience for the hour when a new clarity is delivered. That alone is to live as an artist, in the understanding and in one's own creative work. These things cannot be measured by time. A year has no meaning, and ten years are nothing. To be an artist means not to calculate and count, to grow and ripen like a tree, which does not hurry the flow of its sap, and stands at ease in the spring gales without fearing that no summer may follow. It will come. Well, I remember in my 20s being told, what is 10 years in the life of an artist? And just saying, what? You know, 10 years is a lot in the life of an artist. But now, at this stage, I say, what is 10 years in the life of an artist? So my focus um, in this podcast is a bit on the writer's journey. And I'd like to make my writing prompt um, reflect that. So here's an idea as a prompt. And depending on where you are in your stage of of your writing career in life, um, consider a story that begins with the advice to your younger self. What would you tell your younger self that you now understand? Or if you're at the beginning of your journey, what and how do you envision your mature self? And have that conversation. It's an interesting conversation. I'll just give a couple of possible leads for that. And I hope, you know, I hope you'll find it interesting too. So it begins, my, I, I tend to write in dialogue, I think perhaps because I was a journalist, dialogue comes fairly easy to me because I spent so many years taking down what people were saying. So mine's just going to be a quick run of a few, few um, passages of dialogue. Hey, slow down. Life has you on its path. You are not the one in charge. The other character. What do you mean? Who else is in charge? If I'm not in charge, What's going to happen? Who's going to run my life? And the character marches out of the door. So the prompt is, who are, who are the characters talking? What is the one character marching towards? And what is the other character seeing? Um, there are lots of possibilities in that. It could be a parent. It could be a wife. It could be a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Um, if I were to take that as a prompt, I, I found over the years that I tend to see, at least in novels, the novels I write, sort of three concentric circles of narrative. The first starts with the main characters. uh, Any piece of fiction works only if the characters work and are believable. So those two or three main characters are the center of the story. But around them are the family, the friends, the community they're in. And they also work within the story. And then for me, because I'm very interested in some global issues, the the, the world issues around them. Um, I have a novel that has recently come out called Burning Distance. And um, some of the, I guess the marketer said, you know, Romeo and Juliet with a back setting of arms trafficking in the Middle East. Now, you know, that's sort of like a Hollywood tagline or Jane Austen meets John le Carré. But anyway, what is the larger world around them? And that interests me. And when done well, all of those circles connect with theme and, and reflect off each other. So as the writing prompt, what would your older self advise your younger self or what would your younger self hope your older self would see 
and where would you land? So, so that's, that's my writing prompt in terms of my own habits as a writer um, and advice. A, a writer writes at some point, you just realize I, I, I'm a writer. I write. And so what's very important and I have found very important is to figure out how to live one's life around that passion. Um, there are writers who can only be writers and they manage to make a living and only do that. But for the majority, there usually has to be something else around it to, to pay the bills for emotional support for many things. So how do you, how do you balance those two? And most importantly, how do you love each element of it? You know, love your passion, love your art, but also love your life. So, uh, you know, over many decades, I, I have learned that's very important. Um, I write every day. Um, sometimes it's just articles or a blog, but um, I've learned over time that, you know, just as athletes have different um, methods of preparing, you know, sometimes it's a sprint, sometimes it's a jog, um, sometimes it's a marathon. Over time, I've realized essentially I'm a marathoner. I, I love the novel form. I love the long, the long writing. So even though I may start with a short story, I can help myself. That short story links to the next one. And pretty soon I'm writing, a, I'm writing a book. Um, the other thing I might say in, in this is that not everybody um, finds that writing and publishing are simultaneous. So, and for me, they certainly weren't. I published a short story collection fairly early in a novel, and then it was many decades before the next novel. But I was always writing it, and when it didn't get published, I wrote the next novel, making me a better writer, and then went and rewrote it, and then wrote the next one, and then rewrote that one. And I'm at the odd stage where the novels are all starting to come out. I had the novel Burning Distance come out this year. Um, next spring, I have a novel called The Far Side of the Desert coming out. Uh, the next year, I think I have another one coming out. And um, so you never know how the arc of your life is going to coincide with the writing you do. But if if one loves to write, Find the time, find the place. For me, it's I, I love it if I can do it in the morning, and if I can get six hours in a day to write and do all my other work after that, that's that's a perfect day. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. It's been fun for me to think about it. Um, if you're interested in in some of the work I've done, um, my website is www.joanneleademackerman.com. That's J O A N N E. L-E-E-D-O-M hyphen Ackerman, A-C-K-E-R-M-A-N dot com. Um, I hope you'll remember to subscribe to the Inner Loop radio series. It's, um, I find it very interesting and it's writers talking to writers. And um, it's been my pleasure to talk with you. Thank you.